trending news. Nambi can clash with DSS operatives during interrogation. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo Mazinam de Kanu, reportedly clashed with operatives of the Department of State Services, DSS, on Sunday. It was gathered that the pro Biafran activists refused to answer questions during another interrogation section by the secret police in Abuja in the rest in the presence of, of his lawyer Aloy Ejimako during his interrogation by five DSS of officers Namdi Kanu stated that he was fed up with the interviews and would not respond to questions anymore he was however assured by the security operatives that Sunday was the last interview they would have they would have with him. The DSS interrogated him today again with five officers in the presence of his lawyer, a lawyer Jimako. He refused to answer any questions and only responded in syllable, syllables. He told them he was not going to do to, to do any more of their interviews the dss panel in turn said this would be their last interrogation a top source revealed to sarah reporters recall that during an interview with dss officials that last wednesday namde kanu had revealed how he was adopted in kenya and repatriated back to nigeria namde kanu was interviewed by dss agent today in the presence of his lawyers he had injured had, he had injuries on his neck and wrists from torture they said that they did not know who was he was they chained him to floor for six days but they became nice to him once they found out who he was a top source i reviewed also on July 7, the IPOP leader told his lawyer that he was mercilessly beaten and tortured in the East African country before his extradition to Nigeria. The lawyer had said that there was a clear collaboration between the Kenya government and the Nigerian government, and I am happy that they that they are now denying the fact that Namdi Kanu was arrested in India. But by the time we finish with them at the International Criminal Court, they will never remain the same. He was arrested at the airport there and he was taken to an unknown residence. He was subjected to inhuman treatment Namdi Kanu was tortured, maltreated, and mercilessly beaten, as confirmed by him to us. After spending eight days in their illegal custody, they now beckon to the Nigerian government. Namdi Kanu was lifeless and unconscious by the time they were bringing him to Nigeria. To tell you the level of their conspiracy and the depression to get him, he brought him here on a Sunday, and the federal government is fully aware that I am his legal counsel. He was brought into the country and inflicted with several injuries, and he and a, he is having a number of medical issues today. It was at the best of the federal government that Kenya was doing those things. This is against all international laws. We are going to address an international court at that level. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. You can imagine. You can imagine these people are so, I don't know, they are so stupid. When you're interrogating someone for the first time, second time, person answered you, and the third time, person is telling you that. This, is, this will be the last time he's going to answer 
for any interrogation. And she came back the second day to start asking again. Do you think to him where he is is very is comfortable? Or is comfortable that you're asking him, you're interrogating him? Why can't some people just use their brains for once? All these journalists they are fond of doing this. Whenever they see that you are in, you are in a serious problem, they will keep coming, interrogating, as if <laughs> they don't, I don't know, I don't know why they so behave like as if they, they, are, they, are, they are senseless. Imagine that. I know that by the grace of God, God will definitely protect him and be calm and bring him out from the detention in his. Yes, I'm very much sure of that. Whether they like it or not, whether Jogokwe like it, likes it or not, now he's happy that Nabi Kano has been arrested. He was jubilating the first day they announced that Nabi Kano was arrested. He was thanking God, oh, thank God that in Nabi Kano's sense, his men to behead him. We don't know how true is that. He was happy, he was jubilating. I know that in Nabi Kano, when Nabi comes out, then Jogokwe will be shameless. We will we, 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 we be so ashamed of himself that, ah, see what I've said about this person, what I've said about Namdi Khan and all of that. He's among those that have been accusing Namdi Khan of committing all these crimes that has been, all, all these deaths that have, that have been happening in Southeast. And then Namdi Khan will be vindicated and Biafra must be restored soon. To restore soon, not, not with any other person, but Nambi Khan will be the one to keep leading and aiding Biafra by the grace of Almighty God. So, viewers, what is your take on this? Your comments concerning this will be needed. Please, I will urge you to drop them below the comment box as well as clicking on the subscription button to receive notifications whenever. We upload new videos and please don't forget to share and like this news as well. Thank you as you do. Goodbye.